Google's landscapes look for unity in the human condition. A well-traveled man, he'd taken a long trip over the Alps to Italy, sketching as he went. In this painting, The Hunters in the Snow, Bruegel combines an image of the Alps with a Flemish village to create a composite landscape. It's an image recognizable from countless Christmas cards, but on closer inspection, it's not at all a picture of yuletide cheer. These hunters have little to show for their trouble. The skinny fox suspended from their poles, and their dogs, struggling to lift their legs out of the heavy snow, feel the exhaustion as much as their masters. Bruegel painted these compendious, visually inexhaustible masterpieces after the longest, bleakest, coldest Flemish winter anyone could remember. And let's just think for a minute about the way in which Bruegel makes us look at these pictures. On the one hand, of course, they are an invitation into a wealth of detail. Wherever our eye travels, it picks up these lovely minutiae of work and play. The skaters gliding across the ice. Our eye travels from one kind of landscape, a village huddled on the hill, to a completely different one, a frozen mountain or a storm-tossed estuary out to the broad open sea. But there are moments as well when the pure compositional muscle that Bruegel can command makes everything come together in one great universal vision. It makes us stop. It makes us have a moment of contemplation. And then if we're very, very lucky, like these wonderful paintings, it all seems to add up the whole of the human condition and our special little place within it. But Bruegel's efforts to highlight the ties that bind couldn't stem the tides of war. In 1569, his home city of Antwerp fell to a conquering Spanish Catholic army. The Inquisition moved in. The Low Countries split into two as the Protestant North took up arms and, after a war that lasted generations, the Dutch Republic was born. In 17th century Holland, landscape art continued to focus on building a national identity. Here, the landscape wasn't so much claimed, but reclaimed from the sea. Now the reason why the Dutch felt so emotionally invested in this landscape was because they had been responsible for physically making so much of it.